Okay. Well, which one came out real good? with the settings real quick and we'll look at the hotkeys and see what we have to do controls Never seen this one, Soma. It's interesting. I think you guys will will like the game. I can't remember. I remember the concept, but that's about it. So we'll be uh, having a nice, good enjoyment. Crouch, left control to crouch. We got run, shift, okay. Lean right, oh, lean left, QE. Okay, with that. So, Q and E. So I have, um, I have this uh, mouse, right? It's um, uh, it says uh, it's a Naga, Razor Naga, <clears throat> and the mouse wheel moves to the left and moves to the right. It moves to the left and moves to the right. You can click left, click right, and so for this, um, kind of like for like games that you have to lean. This game's a leaner. I use these keys to lean. So it helps me kind of feel more normal to like look over by clicking my mouse to the left, to the right. It's a cool feature. But yeah, Q and E, right lean. Oh, shoot. Oopsie. Hold on, that's the wrong. That one's one. That's my, okay. And then that's, um. Believe it's okay. We gotta first change it. We gotta add. Whoopsie. Soma. Rename. Soma. Okay, now we do it. Q. This one's E. That one, uh, what did it say for, for crouch? It was control. And let's see what else. Yeah, to crouch control, to run, left shift. Okay, interact, left mouse, cancel interaction, right mouse. Rotate. Oh, that's part what weapons? Yeah, probably. It's not reload. Flashlight. Throw. Oh, throw is right mouse button. So inventory tab. 
So I use, it's going to be my and what was flashlight F I guess we'll use this one as F should be everything rotate or rotate I guess uh, no that'll be uh, R I, that's why I like it. Okay. You guys ready? Get that flower pot water real quick. What? Okay. You know what someone said? Wait, hold up. Come here. Damn. Come here. All right, so Dexter said he wants a treat first, so we'll give him a treat real quick. <clears throat> and then we're starting it off. If you guys want some water, get some water, some popcorn, some cheese. All right, let's go. Normal. Safe. What? Because there's just a normal. Reality is what is that which, when you stop believing in it, does does not go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. Damn, he already had brain damage. Now you got an accident too? Objectives can be interacted with. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon.
Okay, we got that movement. Okay, so this is my room. It's not much, but it's something. Got my posters. Actually, I painted that. I painted that one right there, and I painted that one. Where did I put the tracer fluid? And, uh... We got stuff over here. Got my comb. Books. Hooked. Ooh. Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught a break. They managed to save up enough money to like the family, to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii. They've been uh, talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over the Waikiki beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turned into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in doubt. Thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled, streaming, screaming to the dark waters, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vic vicious tendrils. Oh, okay. So this, this thing, like, has hooks all over itself it looks like a mermaid you know and it hooks you down come Pour on radioactive tracer fluid where hey, are you it's jesse you working this weekend or what i knew there was something you were doing was it this weekend or next anywho just shoot me a mail or something love you miss you mean it love you miss you mean it i swear that guy has the memory of a goldfish I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? <laughs> All right, so we got we got a photographer R. What do you want me to? If I'm holding it, how am I gonna? You want me to hold it and? <laughs> what? Oh shoot! I gotta learn how to do this. So I guess I could zoom it. I could throw it. Rotate it. I don't know about the rotating part. It's a nice sunset. This person needs to take better pictures. I don't know what's going on here. We got uh, sunsets, all right, but and now we got some tea pictures. Okay, well that's better. I guess as a photographer, you kind of got to do those <laughs> those interesting shots. Oh, well, we got. It doesn't want to show the feet. Place Lab, Toronto. Simon Jarrett. Dr. Aaron Peak. Is that a plate? Is that a market? Now that's a better shot. Dr. Flo Peak. Oh, look at this. Downtown accident kills young woman. Oh shoot, the woman died. Yesterday, driver distracted by her children ran a red light. Oh no, that's not him. Causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Flora Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveled in the robust SUV were left bruised but largely unharmed the other party was less lucky as the car crashes head into the passenger side and see how old it was them but the this is about the driver that caused it sustained devastating damage and suffered sophisticated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived her friend and driver Simon Jarrett Flo 26 survived but which Complicated results believed to 
leave him with permanent brain damage. I mean, he already had brain damage. He got extra damage. The, the driver of the SUV, SUV, whose name has been released by public, claims accident particularly unavoidable. You, if it's kid distractions, it's avoidable. What? What do you mean, unavoidable? She said you got distracted, right? Summer's blockbuster. Massive recoil. Flawless execution. Okay. Get well soon. Love you, mom. Oh, that's cute. The M is like a heart. O M. I've never seen that before. It's very, uh, very mom creative, like. Right. That's pretty, pretty cool. It's a cool mom. Okay, what is this? What? It's shiny, but he's still sad in the shadows. It's interesting. It says, thank you again for participating in our research. This scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratory in Toronto, but since we're guests, our access is a bit unpredictable i will try to schedule a scan session for saturday i'll get back to you when confirmed sincerely david man Manchi. so he's doing some brain scanning and stuff to kind of like make sure how his brain's working i'd probably say because of that injury new prescription dear matt jared i'm happy to hear your headaches have been becoming less frequent. Your latest test shows your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will just adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. I wonder for how long? Always? Or just temporarily. Since excessive stress could be fatal. Reading you a prescription for Perzozin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and we'll see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peak. Oh, hey, I forgot to hit send. Hey, Jesse, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I, I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. It's starting to become the workplace hazard. Also, books tend to be such small... Uh, sell much better if they're put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, damn. I'll send it right now just in case. Yeah, I'll send it. Why not? Better late than never. That's right. Get it together. I wonder how long we've had to send it for. Oh, the... Yeah, yeah. It's Saturday the 2nd. It's May the 1st. Yeah, well, you better learn. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Look at that. We got birds. <clears throat> we got like a little, nice little park. Neighborhood park. It has grass, it's a park. Mapping mines, Albert. 
widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible tax, uh, texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body. Why the brain is simply not a computer and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. Heh <laughs> heh. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Massive recoil. Oh, that's the move. That's the, that's the game, huh? John Hugh is a corrupted cop working in Hong Kong. One day, his life is turned upside down. Then he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the gold dragon tr uh, trade. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the, the trade. Uh, the triad? Oh, it's triad. The police and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Looks interesting. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. No, I, Thank you, brain. What? There's no CD. How do you... How do you... Well, that's not right. It looked like it was going to be a good movie. In the trash. Excuse my mess. So I can't even. What's the cub doing? Why is it all mess? Oh well. Yeah. Oh, we can't pick that one up. That one's forever there. Simon Jarrett. Nothing to see here. Some cups. Microwave. Nothing but fast food. Oh, pizza. I buy something healthier on my way home. Okay. Got the cabbage right there out in the open, drying up. That's our medicine. It's gonna be for our blood pressure, I guess. It feels like milk, but the taste it's like sucking on a penny. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Better shower right now, turn in what? Things broken. Okay, I guess we gotta get out of here. Yeah, he chugged it. Chase it. You gotta, you gotta get it out the way quick. Can't savor it. I gotta sit next to him? Girls. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I this should guy be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. 
Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Oh, uh, they already took her spot. Yeah, Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over now, buddy. It seems like a good sense of humor. Look, they're all putting uh, newspaper right there. Can't sit here. Guy seems support. It's very supportive. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Oh, we're Where in Canada. I thought this place would be busy. Well, not too busy. Oh, the lights. I can't give up yet. Looks like they're remodeling this place. Paul, where are you? We got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jared. Let's do this. I saw your laptop on the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Hi, Paul. Take. Talk to PACE about using the lab this week. Oh, Pace is the place we're using. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty re reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models. And also, if a time also opens up, we can get in there and use a scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. Could We could do a scan of each other uh, to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy on Friday. I'm, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron P. will send somebody over. She has a uh, patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. David. Found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wee to have him uh, vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace a legal department that could uh, re-grant us permission to use the lab I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text but I'll leave it I'll leave a note or something in case we forget it oh man they're very top secret Yeah, the big honcho. Moment of that. What moment? Page 56. Improve revised project technique. your scalpel away what scalpel away the brain can heal itself the brain has an amazing trans formation of transformative qualities a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself explains Paul Burke a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto it is this quality that Berg and his colleagues, David Munshi. Oh, that's David. 
Didn't we hear? That was, that's the email. A student of computer science are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with some simple thi things like exercise, therapy, and light med med medication. Uh, they, they made us chug a bottle. I don't know about that light medication. Just like, yeah, I know, right? You see, that was a pretty big bottle. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. But Minchi and Berg are not looking for the miraculous uh, Penica. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction. Damaged brain scan to produce computer model. Numerous tests conducted on model. So it's kind of just looking at the uh, directions that they're getting, like fails for memory. Just how long it takes to find the information. Produce damaged brain scan to produce computer model. Num numerous tests. Conducted on model without risk. Per perfected treatment is then applied on a uh, patient. Okay, it's not a long forecast, it's about uh, milliseconds before which the right computer model, Berg and Menchi, can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. So they're using the scanned brain and treating the scanned brain just until they get the right formula and then they treat it to the real patient. Oh. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a uh, marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We're able to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way. And when they do find the optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from space laboratories who has promised to assist them with uh, both equipment and workspace. We're very fortunate to get all this support says Berg now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work okay so they map your brain then they test the, he said something about we could try giving you brain overdose on painkillers while running the while running a marathon Damn. Okay. That's interesting. Interesting. I don't know. Is that the... Is that the code? 2501? I'm not sure, but... It's the only thing I see numbers on. 2501. Reminds me of the Android movie Total Recall. Yes, yeah, so they're scanning your brain and giving and and testing the 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 scanned brain to get to the right solution. Once they once they you know kill you a thousand times and find the right remedy, then they use that remedy to your real life self. What? Gimme, give gimme. Give and this, uh... This company is really interested in that stuff too, I guess.
much. Well, I'm definitely not. I'm getting my head scanned. Oh. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. I'll have the VOD ready when you come back, if you can't watch it. Oh yeah, Total Recall, huh? He jumped into it. What up, the real hustler? How you doing? Really? Interesting adventure. Yeah, total recall Arnold Schwarzenegger, huh? All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. Yeah, he had that machine words. thing. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Hey, That's thanks. No. Huh. Hope you're having a good Let's one, real hustler. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese. Scan me up, buddy. So they're trying to find my brain. What happened? They're trying to fix my brain. Mr. Oh. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Damn, how long was I asleep? This isn't funny. Dark. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... In stress. I'm not supposed to be stressed out. That's that's right. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Yeah, I'm not supposed to be stressed out or else my my blood pressure starts hurting my head, then I gotta bleed my brain. Unlock terminal from service control. What's this? Oh. Do you have to suit up? Do I have suit? I don't have legs. Service cons console. Service console. Omni tool, chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Toolbox. Toolbox. Oh, it doesn't blow up. Oh. break more so we can grab stuff do it we got long arms do not enter plan
Hmm, I wonder if they blow up. At a restroom? Well, the mirror's broken. all that is it some oil Why am I like what? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Shut. Oh. Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. What? How did I do that? Creepy. <laughs> What the hell's going on? Hey you. Can you talk? Oh, that's a recording. Can you talk like the others? So it's a recording of what happened before shutdown. What the hell? My heart. My heart's going up. Oh, they broke through this? What? The hell broke through this? While crouching, crouch. Be noticed by who? We got turn on the light. Oh, we're not gonna open that. Nope, 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 nope. Somebody get me an engineer suit and a plasma cutter. <laughs> yeah. I guess we have to go in here. More and more like Fallout. It feels like Fallout, Eric.
The Omni tool. Use tab to see inventory. Okay. The Omni tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems and onboard intelligence, including an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omni tool will automatically adapt to programs to cover subconscious behaviors to optimize work and minimize user error. Then it can read your mind. The Omni tool has a short range signal useful for basic and automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations and Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device simply slide op operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard connector which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that the introducing the additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. <clears throat> so basically, this thing opens doors. Ooh. So we got the tool. Oh, maybe we have to take it back to the to the bench. Maybe that's what we were here for. Oh, someone's watching. Damn, I'm making a lot of noise. He stomps. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. No, all this, what is this? System status? Denied. Main power suspended. So, complete. Welcome back, Louis Mirren. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitting with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, the kit will be unavailable. Okay. So we need a. Oh! I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that on the tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, oh. sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. 
Mm, okay. What do I do with this? Oh, we throw it in there? Oh, shoot, they're falling. Update. There we go. Tool chip security cipher updated. All right, so what do, we, what do we do with this? We just. Well, I guess whenever there's a door we can't get into, we'll see if we can use that. better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll put you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. So, something's going on. And they're locking this place down. They don't say very much. Oh, flashlight. Do we have a flashlight? Oh, we don't have a flashlight. What the hell? the hell is that? Are those wires or is that a monster? Oh, that's a mon- that's not- that's just wires. I thought it was like some hentai monster. Hello? Oh? CP 1832s, the wire hentai monster. <laughs> I am the save and say hello guy in the game when it comes to monsters and cables. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Is it not? Didn't it look like a hentai monster? Like a cable monster? Like. like Water. Deep in the ocean, huh? Well, not too deep, right? Because we could still have. There's still light. Well, no, it's probably dark as hell. We're just. We got light everywhere, the Lighting our surroundings. You know why the water is blue? Hotels all over the world. It's crazy. Really? Caution. D 
the um, as the light hits the the water, the color of the spectrums um, they have a higher wavelength, so they don't they um, they don't make it to the wa you know too far into the water. So blue tends to be the wavelength that is um, what is the one that um, we see the most. Yeah, water absorbs red light, therefore it seems to be blue. Oh shoot, Eric knows. What the hell? No, stop. Stop. Ah. Who, who said Who's stop? That? Who said stop? the hell oh my blood pressure shoot we can't use our omni tool Cells. Where are we? What a big, huge place. Everything just oily. Don't touch the structure. Gel leakage. Can't confirm its effects on. Wow. Issue has been reported to see work. Oh, okay. So that was. It was leaking once, and they're like, why is it leaking? They put a little sign right there. To hey, can you hear me? Not doing anything. Don't. He talks. Happy, where were you? What? Where, where, where? How did he just die right now? What the hell are these things, anyways? They went right into the system.
What's this? Hit us. Oh, what is it? What? What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalom, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. And the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Ah, oh, so, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place dome is ceiling. not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay. Gotta go to a dome looking place. What the hell is this? What are we doing down here? Thermal reactor. Oh. Oh, to power everything up? I guess so, huh? We don't got any uh, power outside. We're off the grid, pretty much. Oh shit! Jump! Oh! Oh! Oh shit! How do we... Can we go up here? What the hell? Oh! What the hell was that? Still down there. Blacked out? Who's that? I 
We need an ID. Explore. Oh, this is a map. We're here. What's up with this? Why are these doors? Okay. I can't. I can't open it. Simon, do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy! Okay, okay, I I'm, ju I'm just gonna be... I I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here! See? Uh, okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? <laughs> How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, remoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and that's my last claim ever. Oh, he got he got probably got killed by a heat shield. What's wrong with your everything? Did you go diving in sewage or something? Sewage? How do you know? You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. <laughs> I'm right here. I see both my hands. Both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. He sees his hands and his feet. Find someone who can help. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. Find someone who can help. Okay, okay. How do you turn it off? Okay. Please tell Amy. I need help. <laughs> and I go electrocute him. I I'm sorry. I I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Won't a mechanic make more sense? You're trying to be oh, fucking funny. <laughs> Give me a medic. But you're a robot. Really? The robots have legs, hands, a face. You're delusional. Okay. Calm down. I, I won't get some fucking help. Oh shit, Don't Carl. Touch me. Go tell the others. Don't touch me. Damn, Carl, piss. Oh, okay. You we need to power it up. Oh, 
Oh shoot, still. Sorry, Carl. This is gonna sting a little bit. I gotta open it somehow. Oh, the door. What is that? Nothing? Yeah, Carl's not happy with my sarcasm. I mean, I mean, he's a robot, but he doesn't think he's a robot. Carl's, you know, not liking that answer. Press while holding the object to throw it. Seven two two oh. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos two until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. Oh yeah, we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Poor Carl. He was the one talking to her this whole time. Okay. Hey. Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, damn. Can you hear me? Hey. Oh, you see. Not liking me. He's in shock. Zero seven two two, right? Carl Samkin. But who transferred it into that machine? Our production has been secured. We sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All super flu fluid systems have been turned off. If anyone ever has to turn, return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the, the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here, Carl. Oh. oh, we don't have insufficient. We can only do one at a time. Start. 
storage. Staff. Carl. Shanker. Uh, Zaro. Finley. Miron. Rogers. Adams. Okay. What? Log out. Okay, something opened up. Is it this? Either someone went wrong or machines that they stuck you into their or in the, your mind. Yeah, it could be the machines. The maybe they're they're like creating an army. The CCRV7 black box. This black box is a it is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It makes sure a wide range of data from your blood pressure to the brain wave activity. This information is constantly relayed to Fatos 2 Warden Unit. Uh, can provide you the appropriate climate or uh, for every situation for optimal performance. Please follow the auto injector instructions what okay oh. oh I can't grab it this is it The hell is that? Oh, it's I still can't find a flashlight though. I don't see anything in here. Insufficient power to the left and to th Amy's sketchbook. She's an artist. Probably what you saw. <laughs> what a rope. Rock. Wreck. So we gotta open this somehow. Maybe we need to power this up. Yep, we need to power this up. Carl's gonna have to deal with it. Yep. Garden tool? A rake? Oh. Oh, yeah. Got lights and everything. Oh, something opened. Sorry, Carl. Oh, maybe here. So. so something opened. What was it? Oh. Storing some files. Oh, you're right. Shouldn't look. 
Is that me? That's Carl. Catch you later. Oh, okay. Peter, was it? Yes, That's here. Carl. <laughs> We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to steal the comms right. right now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from Yeah, me. that's Carl. If you show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Send in the cavalry. What's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yup. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> good, I like to hear. Oh, man. Sorry, there was definitely not a welcome party. You trying to get over the hat? <laughs> Nexus hat, baby. <sighs> What's going on there? Oh. Offline, what? Are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's Simon, her. Was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, oh. I did. And it was very unexpected. Yep. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I... I think he was in pain. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, Carl. He said he was hurting. Sort of. I don't know. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. Poor Carl. Carl was in pain. Simon, come to Lambda. 
Oh what? Oh. Shit. Oh. Shit. Shit. Where do Can I? We go in the water. Oh, I'm drowning. How is this possible? This isn't. This is insane. What the hell happened to my hands? Do I have a suit on? Everything's off. Goodness. We're in the ocean. We're at the bottom. Find the shuttle to Lambda. Find the shuttle. How are we going to do that? I could jump. What's this? Oh, he looks angry. What making you do what? He's like my friend now? Okay. 
got a little buddy right now because I saved. Anything here? Oh, you showing me the way? Show me. No, 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 go ahead, show me. You sure you're showing me the way? Saying go that way, probably. Now he's saying go that way. I don't know. I don't think he is. I think he's following me. What? You got a flashlight? You call that a flashlight? in a fight oh shit Damn, he just tearing it up. This place is leaking. Jackie, come in, Theta. What? I can't. Where are you now? Jackie, I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? Hear you! Don't worry, I'll fix it. Somehow. Ugh. 
What the hell? Jesus Christ! Did it suck what my blood hell? out or something? What did it do? What, what the hell did that do? It didn't open. This morning, January 12th, the comet Telos crushed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. Damn. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Pathos 2 unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communications station located on surface platform Omega, which is under the circumstances a small price to pay. Data will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of pathos too and ultimately mankind more on the matter will follow overseer k for aquarian so there was a big expl big explosion everybody's dead except us because we're so under the ocean that it only caused a couple scratches to the ship Yes. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted to pick a fence, big family, you know? I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy, and I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. <laughs> I love you, Amy. I always have, and always will. Damn. That's the husband of Amy? Cause Amy was, I guess Amy had somebody. What? No power. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's alive. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. Nothing is allowed to die. 
What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Amy needs help. Shit. Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. We gotta unplug. Are right, you guys gonna have to vote? Do you want me to unplug it or no? No unplug. Unplug. Oh fuck. She dead. Oh, this is dead too. Maybe this uses the humans to keep them powered up? Oh, what? Like maybe it's their power source? Oh, we got power back. She dead though. Yeah, she wasn't living. That's not living. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's like an artificial lung helping her breathe. Probably because of how she got injured. Carl got screwed up so bad they had to just replace him. Okay, we got flashlight finally. What? Traveling locations? What does that mean? That I have to go over here? No, over here. Look, it shows here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here. I don't even know. Turbulence and deep sea construction. 
We are now leaving Upsilon for Theta. Theta is considered the heart of Pathos. Oh, they're showing us the different the station locations. Administration, medical facilities, and the payload assembly crew. Prepping and programming satellites before they are shipped off to Phi for launch. Head. Is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, oh, I'm not all right. Me. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. I gotta go to Lambda. Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? We gotta find a hatch. Trust her. What the hell happened there? Yeah, there must be a hatch. Okay. Joke. This game's called so Here we go again. Take me out. <laughs> barnacles, yeah, look at all the barnacles. Find lamb to really how big can this ocean be? Shoot. This ocean's big. I don't even know if this this flashlight doesn't do justice.
Maybe we can get to the surface and find a fall garden. Shh, don't get me started. Lambda. Too bad we don't have that dead space uh, tracking. Too bad I don't have a map. Do I? No, I don't have a map. Well, there goes Lambda. Oh, there goes that guy. What? You can't wait for nothing. How do we get inside Lambda? There goes Lambda. Yep. Okay, we found it. It's that dark Templar thing. That robot. Suits here. <clears throat> Nothing to get. Where are the weapons at? Where's the shotgun? What the hell is that? What? Catherine? Don't look at it. Oh. How do I not look at it? Am I not... He's here. Oh, 
Oh, you found an Omni tool. No, not you too. Oh, she's a robot. I was really hoping you were human. No, she's like Carl. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take it anymore. This is everything's fucked. Oh, I she knows she's a robot. Nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. No. Nope. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I. Don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. All right, time for plan B. What's plan B? Oh, the Omni tool. The tool you inserted into the terminal. Oh, I'm talking to a real person. Door. Yeah, you can pull my Cortex chip and put it into the Omni tool. What's a Cortex chip? It'll be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on. I just, I need you to do this one thing for me. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connection. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. So. Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chip. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. How's that even? So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. Ark. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Ooh. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Oh, well, thank you. What was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yep. Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Ooh, another one of those little hand. <sighs> Hand leeches. I don't know what that does, though. What happened before? That creature was strangely 
overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Oh. Careful. What? Don't look, right? Don't look. It's back. Ah! Eyes peeled. Peeled. Hey! Look at this guy. Oh hell no! You better not. That's right. That's right, mofo. Can't do nothing. Keep on. Okay, so she she opened which door then? Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the ark. That bot, yeah, that's probably the one that's turning everybody everybody into robots. She's interviewing a lot of people. The idea is just incredible by every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics, beyond the superficial, I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. Ooh. That's some early renders of the world inside. That's the computer-generated well, computer map. Not a bad place. Welcome. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the arc. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subject experience and how to improve your well being. How would you describe the physical condition? Feel normal? Oh, I can How would you describe your senses? How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? <clears throat> Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? I 
know. How do you perceive your new existence? This one. Do you think this is a new existence? Will be a life worth living? Yes, but with less meaning? Maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world? Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Your answer has been saved. Thank you for participating to our team. I found a tracker homed in on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. He's in Canada, right? Be what happened to the tower to and the dock and the welcome center? What tower? Select what a sector to this scan. This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's it's so strange. Try to use all of them. Oh, did that work? Lamb. Someone in the waters. What? Ooh. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. Tau. Not much to build so the ark is in Tau. If we oh no, that's the ark. Could could we get on the ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. <laughs> All right. Mark trigger. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. The I'll just opener. carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Hello. Oh, we've been here. This is where that one, uh, that probe was. Don't forget to take me along, the Omni tool. Where are you? I'm trying to find her. I forgot where I left her. Catherine? What? Nothing. Never mind. Where did you go? I'm waiting. I don't know. Is she in here? No, right. 
There she goes. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. All right. She's finally as if to me, as if. So we have her in the Omni tool. And we have to search for the Ark. Oh yeah, she I don't know if whatever I don't know. She'll be always in that tool. take a break um, do you guys want me to play this most of the day today I gotta take a quick break eat and I'll be back on let's say like in about an hour you guys liking the game seems interesting Okay, we'll take a break. I'll play it in a few hours. Um, how about we do it in like in four hours, three hours? And I'll do it on live um, on YouTube and Twitch. But yeah, it's interesting. So, the world's destroyed. Pretty much from a comet or a meteor and uh, I'd probably be a meteor and uh, there's a scanning tool to scan brains and I guess they scanned they scanned as many as they could they're all in the arc funny how they call it the arc right um, it's pretty much where everybody's at and they're gonna I guess send it off where it's safe we'll see interesting alright guys I'll be back in a few hours and um, we'll do a little bit of Starcraft and then we'll jump into this we'll play this um, most of the day see how far we get alright I'll be back soon <laughs> 